Well, good evening, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office on this Wednesday evening. Yeah, doing a rare evening update because, well, we do have this rain coming and a lot of attention is being turned to our chances of rain coming up. It's been more than three weeks since we've seen any rain and it has the potential to be a pretty good soaker. And with that, at a time like this, meteorologists look at every model run that comes in. So you're talking about the 0Z run, the 6Z, the 12Z, the 18Z runs that come in. So what I showed you this morning was from the 12Z runs. Now I'm going to show you what's coming in right now as I'm recording this, a little after 8 o'clock in the evening, from the 0Z runs that are coming in. And I'll show you the differences because, as I mentioned earlier, the differences in where this atmospheric river sets up will depend hugely on just how much rain or snow any one location gets. So I'll likely do this for the next couple of days, show you the 0Z runs as well as the 12Z runs. So we'll be doing, well, I guess in football terms, they'll be calling them two-a-days. And also just uh, a lot of attention um, uh, recently uh, to more viewers than usual because we have more, um, more going on. For those of you wondering about all this, yeah, some skin, skin cancer stuff got taken care of. All this will get taken care of in a little bit. So no worries. I appreciate your words of encouragement. Many of you have been through this as well. All right, let's get right to the weather. So I'm going to start with the short term with the, the HRRR run. And this is the 0Z run of the HRRR run. Nice high resolution model. And we'll go through the day tomorrow just fine. Nice onshore flow making for a somewhat cool day. Now let's get into early Friday morning. This is Friday at around 6 a.m. This model shows some rain north of Sacramento, some snow into Plumas County, some snow on I-5 north of Redding, nice rain on the north coast, still dry around Sacramento at that hour. And then as we go through the next couple of hours, the rain gradually settles in. This is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So it does look as though for, I'll just use Sacramento as a reference point. If the rain starts here, this is around 11 o'clock in the morning, I, I've been thinking that for areas like Sacramento and Roseville, as well as Grass Valley, we'd likely see rain start anytime between 7 a.m. and noon, as well as snow in the Sierra starting around that time as well, with a snow level around 6,000 feet, maybe 6,500 feet, and that means we'll have chain controls up on Interstate 80. And again, this is 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and this is as far out as the HRRR goes right now. So... If you are looking for a dry window on Friday, it's not going to last very long because it, we may not start off with rain first thing in the morning, but we will see rain develop as we go through the morning from north to south. And we would see rain everywhere north of Modesto, including Modesto and Sonora, with a snow level around 6,000 feet. Modest amounts of rain on Friday, likely somewhere in the range of a quarter of an inch of rain in the valley to a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain in the foothills. Okay, so that's the, that's the, the shorter uh, range. That's our Friday rain. Now we'll go out to the NAM, the North American model. And right now, this is 7 o'clock in the morning Friday, so it shows a similar trend. There's the snow north of Redding. There's the rain to the north and west of Sacramento, leaving the valley dry. So that's a 7 a.m. snapshot on Friday. That's 10 a.m., and then this is one in the afternoon, and this is four o'clock in the afternoon. Rain in the valley, snow level looks a little bit higher here, 6,500 to 7,000 feet. But still, there should be a slushy mix on the Sierra uh, crest. Then as we head into early Saturday, this run looks a little bit drier than it did earlier. But still, we have rain going on. And then look at this break as we head into Saturday afternoon and evening with snow in the Sierra, the 540 thickness line just off to our north. And that's an indication of where some of the colder air is. So if I back up and you look at where that line is here on Friday afternoon, it's up along the Oregon state line. And so colder air tries to come in as that line sinks to the south. But look at this. This is Saturday night and into Sunday. This model is now dry where earlier models were not. So I wouldn't be surprised with that that we see a bit of a break as this line kind of wiggles and the precipitable water also wiggles with it. So while we'll have rain in the forecast Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, there will be periods where it will not be raining, but even this solution that you see here for first thing Sunday morning, I wouldn't be surprised if that changes too. 
Okay, now let's go to the GFS because this goes farther out in time. Let me back this up because I was taking a sneak peek myself. All right, so let's go ahead. All right, here's uh, Friday, 7 a.m. This is Friday mid-morning, and this is Friday afternoon. This model also backing off a little bit, keeping the line a little bit farther to the north. Light snow in the CR, but generally in good agreement with the other models as well. Now getting into the day Saturday, look at that wide area of rain. It's much wider than it was earlier. That's Saturday morning with snow in the Sierra. And as I'll show you in a little bit, I think one of the things that we're going to see change over the next couple of days will be the snow level. Somebody in the comment section earlier today from my morning discussion um, asked about snow for the foothills. What's the snow level going to be in the foothills? Well, I don't think we're going to see snow in the foothills. And if by foothills you mean 3,500 feet and lower, that's not going to be the case. I think we're generally going to see snow at the 6,000 foot level and higher, and sometimes maybe even as high as 8,000 feet, but I don't expect we'll see snow below, let's say, 5,000 feet. So for those of you that may be wondering about a lower snow with this right now, I just don't see that happening. So that's Saturday morning, and boy, that looks a lot different than the NAM did, but this kind of looks similar. As we head into Saturday night, Sunday, lighter precipitation, but then the line comes back into the day Sunday. This is Sunday afternoon, but this has shifted slightly farther north than it was earlier. And that's the key with an atmospheric river. Is the line here or is the line here? And that's that makes a big difference in terms of snow level, rain amounts, and all the rest of it. So that's Sunday afternoon. We head into Sunday night. Monday morning, it's still raining, and that rain lasts into the day on Tuesday. And beyond that, there'll be a break before we see another one Wednesday and Thursday. All right, I've got a better um, view of this. So let's go to precipitation. I'll go to total precip accumulation. All right, so here's the latest run, and you notice where the bullseye is here. So it's kind of around Sacramento and to the north. So that's from the 0Z run. If you look back to the 18Z run, that's a little farther south, and at 12Z, it was also a little bit farther south. So that's the way it looked first thing this morning, and then here's the way it looks now. So you can see how that line of heaviest precipitation, the bullseye, is shifted a little bit farther north. And that makes a big difference because where that line is also is kind of a boundary between warm air and colder air. The farther south that line is, the colder the air is, and the more snow you get on I-80 and Highway 50, as well as the ski areas around Tahoe. Either way, this does look as though it should be a pretty good rainmaker for the Feather River Basin as well as the American River Basin. I want to talk a little bit more about uh, some of the details here, and for this, this is model extraction. And so what I'm looking at here is this goes out, uh, this is this, this column, the, the, they go from zero out to 84 hours. I got out to 72 on the window that you can see. And these are various parameters like uh, surface temperature, dew point, winds. Somebody asked about winds. Winds don't look all that strong in the valley. It should be breezy from time to time. But the, what I wanted to point out here is one of the lines we look at uh, rather closely at a time like this is the freezing height. So we're going to look at this line right here in detail. All right, so I'll go through this in 12-hour increments. So for instance, this would be during the day on Thursday. There's your freezing level up around 11,000 feet. During the day on Friday, this is this first one would be Friday at 4 a.m., 10 a.m., and 4 p.m. So your freezing level on Friday is still up around 8,000 feet over Sacramento. And then as we head into the day Saturday, it dips down to about 6,000 feet. So you can see how we get a wide variety there. Now, if I show you the same thing for Blue Canyon, you can see that it's a little bit lower. It's down around 5,000 feet because we get a little bit more evaporational cooling. And also look at the precipitation total at Blue Canyon as we head through the day on Saturday. Uh, the total goes up to, let's see, it's this line right here goes up to 2.33 inches of rain. Um, and that's only through the day on Saturday. So that gives you an idea of just kind of what we're looking at here in terms of rain. I mean, these are six hour increments, a half an inch of rain or a rain snow mix perhaps. So there, it, it's going to get wet, but exactly where it's going to get wet 
uh, and exactly where that line is going to set up uh, is going to mean a lot in terms of you know take a place like Grass Valley could see a lot of rain where an area like Placerville not really all that far away might see an inch and a half of rain and Grass Valley could see five inches of rain. Wouldn't be surprised if something like that happens at all or that line could shift a little farther south. One other thing I do want to mention is that because it has been so dry lately, the last three and a half weeks really have been dry, um, the ground is pretty dry and at this point I don't see any hydro concerns. I saw somebody post something earlier about flooding and I just don't see that. I, 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 I see you know, streams and creeks coming up, but I don't see anything in the way of a worry. For those of you in Wilton that worry about the Cosumnes River in a case like this, at this point, I don't see that. I'll show you that in the next couple of days. Right, the latest forecast, though, keeps it below flood stage, so or even monitor stage. So that's everything I got for you this evening. Like I said, I'll be doing two a days over the next couple of days. Um, so I'll do another update first thing tomorrow morning, but I did want to give you an update to show you the latest thinking here with the Zero Z Run update. Have a great evening. <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow.